Hey there, and welcome to the Apple EDC channel. This is my first formal video on this channel, and I plan to use it to discuss ways to make the little phones we carry around with us all day more productive, easier to use, and less frustrating overall. One of the best tools I know to accomplish all of these everyday tasks is Apple Shortcuts. So in this first one, I'll talk about how to build a shortcut using Apple Notes that makes it easier to enter, catalog, and most importantly, find the notes. And in later videos, we will add quick ways to append things like photos, location, and the clipboard to our notes. We'll also introduce the idea of auxiliary or helper shortcuts that actually run inside of our main ones. These make building sophisticated shortcuts faster, easier, and allow for a high degree of customization to fit your specific needs. And Apple has a powerful feature in its notes application called Tags, which makes searching for notes very efficient. But unfortunately, in this latest release of iOS 17.2, the tag function in the Find Note shortcut doesn't seem to work. So we'll have to wait for them to fix it. And once it's fixed, we'll do a video about how to combine shortcuts with tags for some really great search options. I'm happy you found this channel and I hope you like this video and find it useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want more content like this. Please check the description for a list of actions used to build this shortcut and for ways you can support this channel. We really appreciate it. Let's start out with a little housekeeping. Let's check our operating system settings by going to Settings, General, Software Update, and we can see that we're on 17.2.1. Now let's set up our Notes account. We'll go back to Settings. We'll scroll down to Notes. If we want to save our notes on our phone, we click On My iPhone Account. Then we go up here to Default Account and select On My Phone. Now I prefer to store my notes on iCloud so that I have them accessible on my other devices and so that they're automatically backed up. Okay, the next step in setting up notes is to go to the notes application and we want to be on our folders page. If we're not on our folders page, just click on the upper left to get to the folders page and make a folder where you want to store your notes. In my case, I call it EDC My Notes. Remember the name because we're going to use that when we build our shortcut. Now let's go over to the shortcuts app. If you don't have this app, you can always go to your app library by swiping all the way to the left and search for shortcuts. If it's not there, you can head over to the app store, search for shortcuts, and there it is. It's from Apple. It's free. I've already downloaded it. That's why it says open. You would say get, and then it could just download the notes application for you. Now we're ready to actually build our shortcut. So let's open the Shortcuts app. Let's click on this left upper arrow to get to the folder menu. And let's make a new folder. And we'll call this folder EDC Notes Demo. We'll add that folder. Now it puts the new folders down at the bottom. So let's click and hold that and drag it up to the top so it's easy to find right there. Let's open that folder. Now let's select this plus sign here to start a new shortcut. Let's go ahead and name this EDC New Note Demo. Now let's change our icon. How's that one? Under Objects and Tools. And then let's go ahead and change that to maybe a burnt orange. Actions are down here. There are app actions as well as scripting and location and other types of actions. And since we'll be working with notes, we'll be using a lot of actions that have to do with notes. So as an example, if we just search for notes, we would see that there are a lot of app actions that pertain to notes. Okay, I have previously built a bunch of favorites into this list, which are the actions we'll be using. So let's start off with a comment, new note demo, new line. 
iOS 17.2.1. Our next thing to do will be to dismiss Siri and continue. I like to put these on here in case I summon this shortcut with Siri. Once the shortcut starts to run, I want to make sure that I can use dictation to enter text. So I want to make sure that I've dismissed Siri. So for our next action, let's create a note. Let's give that note a name, EDC demo. Let's add a space and then let's ask for the current date. Then let's put this note in the folder that we created, which I believe was EDC My Notes. Okay, we're set there. Let's go ahead and format this date by clicking on it. And right now it is defaulted to a medium date in a short time, which gives us the month, the day, the year, the hour, and the minute. I'd like to reverse these two to a short date, which just makes it all numeric. Let's change this to medium so that we also capture the seconds. Now let's go ahead and check this Twizzler and let's disable open when run. Our next action will be to ask for input. This is where we actually enter our note and we can add a prompt in here, note entry colon. Then let's check that the default answer is text and that we have multiple lines enabled. Now that we have some data to work with, let's test this data by using an if action. And you can see that it automatically linked this action to the one before it. And you can tell by this little vertical line that it placed here. So if the provided input meets a certain condition, let's say that condition is that it does not have a value, then let's make a default value for it. And to do that, we'll use the text action. And it's important that we grab that and put it up inside this if statement. And then maybe our default will be something like no text was entered exclamation point. It can be anything you want, but just for the sake of example, let's use that. We'll say done. And then we want to next append that to the note that we created. So let's find a pen to note. We'll hold it and we'll grab it and we'll put it right underneath that text, okay? So now we have to tell the append command what to append and where to append it. So let's click on that. And right here we see text is our option and you see it added the little line. And then let's choose where we want to append it by using this little tool called select variable. That shows us our possible destinations and we want this created note to be where we append this information. So if no value, in other words, if we didn't put anything in our little input box, it will put in a default saying no text was entered or whatever you want it to say. So now otherwise, we want to go ahead and append the input we were providing. So let's just click on this icon and copy that action. Click on the otherwise icon and paste it below there. If the provided input does have a value, let's append the provided input to the note. We can click on this and clear it. Click on it again. Look on our little on our little scroll bar and choose provided input. Say done. And then we need to describe what we append it to. So I always like to do this just to make sure. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to clear it. Then I'm going to click and hold it for a second and then use the select variable tool and come back up here to make sure that we're appending it to this created note. Okay. So if no input is provided, it will append this text to the note. But if input is provided, it will append that input to the note. Okay. So now we want to uh, do another append. We want to append some dashed lines to whatever was the output of this test. So let's go ahead and use this append to note, drag it up here. And we want to click on this because we want to append some text, which will be dashed lines. 
and we want to append it to the if result. So we'll click here and we'll choose the if result. The next step would be that we'd like to see our finished note. Let's show our notes folder. We want to click on that so that we can select the notes folder we want to choose, which is EDC My Notes. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and open the note. Okay, we want to open this appended note. So let's go ahead and click and hold that, select variable, and we want to open the appended note. Let's go over it one more time. We're going to dismiss Siri. We're going to create a note and we're going to name it EDC demo with the current date. And we're going to put it in the folder my notes and we are not going to open when run. Then we're going to ask for some text put into our note and we're going to allow multiple lines. Then we're going to test this entry and if it does not have any value, we're going to put a default value in and we're going to append that to our note. Otherwise, meaning it does have value, we're going to append the input we provided to the note. Then we're going to put some dashed lines at the end and we're going to do that by appending those dashed lines to the result of this if statement. Then we're going to show our folder, then we're going to open that appended note. Let's just see if it works by hitting play down here. So for our first test, let's not put anything in there. Let's just hit done. And as you can see, it named it with the date and the time and the format that we selected. And it put in our default entry. No text was entered and it put our little dashed lines. So far, so good. So let's run it again and let's put something in there. Hooray! We just created our first note shortcut! Exclamation point new line. Now let's add keywords. So we're definitely making progress here. In our next video, we'll enhance this shortcut by adding keywords so we can more easily search our notes. We'll also build a bookmark to add our notes shortcut to our homepage. Hey, thanks for sticking with us through our first video. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now. Take care.